Hello, hello, good night, guys. Good night. So, hello, guys. Uh, well, let's see. Hello, teacher. Hi, George Irving. Hello. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you. What about you? How are you? Oh, so good, man. Here <laughs> with my son. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Yeah, I can see. Him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see him. Very nice, Irvin. Yeah. So, guys, it's already 8 p.m. So, let's see. We are going to, you know, to wait just a little bit, you know, for your classmates. Guys, let me ask you something. Did you watch the video that I told you? Vieron el video? Yes, no? Really not. Okay, so do not worry, we are going, you know, to see that, okay? So let's see. Okay, let me open, you know, the PowerPoint presentation for tonight. So let's see. Meanwhile, welcome everybody. Welcome at its time. So let's see. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to open, guys. Just one second. So, guys, um, how are you tonight? Como están, Maritza? How are you, Edwin? Bye, and you. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you, Maritza. And Edwin, how are you? I'm fine. Perfect. Perfect, guys. So... You know, before to start with the class, let me share you this, okay? So guys, I have here a conversation for you, okay? So today, guys, we are going to tell you know a little bit about breakfast. You know what is breakfast, right? Breakfast is desayuno, right? So we are going to talk about it and as well as the present continuous or progressive, right? So yesterday, guys, I told you a homework, right? Well, I gave you a homework that was only to watch the video that is on the platform, right? So that was the homework. Because tonight we are going to see a little bit about this topic, okay? That is kind of, you know, extensive. So that's why I recommend you to watch the video. But guys, you know, without, you know, any words, let's just start tonight with this one. We have a conversation. So the conversation is fish for breakfast, okay? So, pescado para el desayuno. Guys, do you like pescado para el desayuno? Fish for breakfast? Yes? No? Yes, why not? Okay, no. perfect. So, Irving said he likes it. Okay, so breakfast, fish for breakfast, guys. So, let's see. We have this conversation. So, first, let me help you how to pronounce each one, okay, guys? Because then we are going to practice. So, we have Sara and Kumiko, okay? So let's see. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family, guys, this word, don't pronounce family, pronounce family, okay? Family. Let's, you know, let's practice with me. Practiquemos. Digan fam, fam, li, family. Okay, no family, 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 okay, family, perfect. So my family always, don't pronounce the L, no pronouncing la L aquí, chicos, okay, always, always, okay, always has a Japanese style, breakfast on Sundays, really? What do you have? We usually, oh, sorry, it moves. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Okay, guys. So here, as you can see, we have some vocabulary that we have seen, right? 
So for example, we have soup. Soup is a vocabulary, right? Soup, supper, right? We have breakfast, desayuno, fish. Okay, we have salad, you see? We have this kind of, you know, um, vocabulary. So now guys, what we are going to do is that we are going to practice this one with your classmate, okay? So I'm going to send you this picture to the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can have it. So I'm going to divide you guys into groups, okay? So let me see, we are eight already. So let's see, let's have four groups. So perfect, so we are going to be in four groups, okay? Guys, if you can accept it, please. And let's practice this one, okay? Don't be afraid, no tengan miedo de practicar con sus amigos, chicos, okay? Practice makes perfection, okay? Practice makes perfection. So please accept the invitation and let's practice, okay? Don't be afraid, no le tengan miedo a su compañero, okay? Don't be afraid. So let's see, okay? Uh, let's see, was perfect. George, if you can accept the invitation, please. George, are you perfect? Hello, Bilma. Hello, guys. Hello. Uh, everybody's working in the break covers. Okay, los demás están trabajando. But they are coming, ya están viniendo, okay? So, um, welcome, Vilma, Ulisse, welcome. Welcome to night class. Uh, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Ulisse? I'm fine. Perfect. Well, we are practicing this one, okay, Ulisse? We are practicing this one. Your classmates okay. are coming again. So, welcome back, guys. Welcome. Welcome. So, I hope you have practiced. 
So let's see, guys. I'm going to choose uh, some volunteers, okay? So let's see. Um, Eulise, give me a number from one to 10. Um, 10. 10, let's okay. see. So, uh, perfect. Seven. 10 and seven. So, Jennifer <coughs> Martinez and Edwin Antonio, can you help me with this one, please? Jennifer, you're going to be Sarah and Edwin Kumik. Okay, let me make it bigger for you. So you can start, guys. Okay. okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a break, uh, Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salt too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but we like to try new things. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Jennifer and Elwin. That was very nice, guys. Very nice. Congratulations. So, guys, I need you in this conversation. We have something. We have a task to do, okay? The task, la tarea para hacer en esto, guys, is to look for verbs or words that you know, okay? That you don't know. ¿Cuál de estas palabras, verbos, ustedes no conocen, guys? Give me one. You can type on the chat box of Zoom. Pueden escribir en el chat box de Zoom si aquí hay una palabra que ustedes no saben qué es, okay? Si ustedes no entienden, okay? So let's see. Does anyone has a word? Does anyone have anyone? Or do you understand everything, guys? Entienden todo este diálogo. Do you understand everything? Yes. There is something that you don't understand here. Okay, I have here. Uh, Japanese. Yes. Okay. This one. Japanese style. Japanese style is estilo Japanese. Yeah, style. Estilo. Style means estilo. Japanese style. Esta palabra que usted mira que está unida es Japanese style. Estilo japonés, ok? Estilo japonés. Uh, together. Together mean juntos, ok? Together. We are together. Estamos juntos, right? Together. Ok? Any other question? Any other? Any other word that you don't understand, guys? Yes? No? Ok, so... Perfect. If you understand everything, congratulations, guys, because that means that we are getting a high level of English. Perfect. So we have here, interesting. Interesting es interesante, right? That's an adjective, an adjetivo. That's interesting. Eso es interesante. That's interesting. Eso es interesante. Things. Things. George pregunta things. Uh, things, chicos, significan cosas. Okay, things es una palabra bastante común. Se usa mucho porque things son como cosas. Right? Usted puede decir, igual que en, en el buen salvadoreño, volado. Right? Things. Okay, things. Things son cosas. I like to try new things. Hasta el final. I like to try new things. Me gustaría intentar nuevas cosas. New things. Usually. Hmm, that's interesting, Marisa. Usually. It's, you know, something that we are going to see. Es algo que vamos a ver hoy, guys. Usually es usualmente. Hay right? algo que usualmente. That's usually. So, guys, let's move on, okay? So, for tonight, we have this one. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, guys? So, give me... Well, guys, I need your help here. If you can see, we have different breakfasts. We have breakfast from the United States, from Japan, and from Mexico. But what about El Salvador, guys? We have this one. In the US, we have that they eat for breakfast, eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam or jelly. And in Japan, we have fish, okay? Rice, soup, 
pickles, green tea. And in Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, and coffee with milk. So guys, you see, these are breakfast, right? These are breakfast, you see? So now, guys, I need you to help me. In El Salvador, what kind of breakfast do we have? ¿Qué solemos comer para el desayuno en El Salvador, guys? Give me options. Give me. Pupusas. Pupus, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not healthy, but yes, most of the people they used to eat pupusas as a breakfast, right? But what else, guys? What else do we eat for breakfast? Uh, uh, croissant. Which one, guys? Okay. And toast yeah. and with butter. Toast with butter, perfect. Yeah, toast with butter is this one, right? Es pan tostado, right? Con mantequilla. Okay, nice. Another one? And cheese. Yeah, cheese, cheese. Hard cheese, ¿verdad? Queso duro, hard cheese. Eggs, well, hard cheese, you know, it's a word that eggs. doesn't... Okay, scrambled eggs, perfect. So Marvin frijoles molidos, say huevo, perfect. So nice, guys. Yeah, we have that for breakfast. Very nice. So guys, let's move on, okay? So let's see what else do we have here, okay? So let me show you something, guys. I have here PowerPoint for you. Uh, let's see this one here. So guys, let's see what do we have here. You know this cartoon, probably you know this cartoon, right? Phineas and Ferb. So guys, let's see what do we have for tonight. We have some daily routines, okay? So here we have Phineas and Ferb usually get up at 8 a.m., okay? So this is a daily routine, right? They take a shower at 8.30 a.m. They take a shower, okay? After taking a, a shower, Phineas and Ferb get dressed, okay? Get dressed means to put the clothes on, right? Put clothes on. Now, Phineas and Ferb have breakfast at 9.30, okay? Breakfast. They have breakfast or they take breakfast, okay? You can say both of them. Have or take, okay? Have breakfast, take breakfast. Now we have, after having breakfast, Phineas and Ferb brush their teeth. Okay, you know, brush their teeth is this one, right? Cepillarse los dientes, right? Brush their teeth, okay? Now, let's see. After that, Phineas and Fer never, never go to a school. Nunca van a la escuela, right? So if you see this cartoon, they never go to school, right? They are always in vacation. Now they see, they stay at home and planning different projects, okay? Planning different projects. Sometimes Phineas and Fer have lunch at 12. Have lunch, okay? Have lunch is first we have breakfast, then we have lunch, right? And they build amazing things. Okay, you see things? They build amazing things. Ellos construyen grandiosas o increíbles cosas, things every day, right? So guys, this is a daily routine, okay? A daily routine. So let me give you another example, okay? In daily routine, we can say, I get up at, let's see, 7 a.m. I have my breakfast at 8 a.m. I brush my teeth at 7.30, we can say, okay? So now guys, we have this interesting question. So if you can see here, here we have, you know, some daily routines, right? Wake up, que significa despertar, get up, take a shower. Just by any change, if you didn't know, right? Come here, have breakfast. So guys, what we are going to do is that we are going to work in groups, okay? What we are going to do is that we are going to talk about these questions, okay? We are going to practice our speaking. Vamos a practicar nuestro speaking, okay? I want everybody to speak, okay? Quiero que todos... En los grupos asignados, practiquen, ¿ok? Se pueden preguntar una pregunta tú, después tú y así, right? So, guys, I have sent you, ya les envié la foto al grupo de WhatsApp so you can uh, see it. 
Also, you can take a screenshot here if you want. Pueden también tomar una screenshot si gusta, right? So let's see. So perfect, guys. I'm going to create the groups so you can accept it, okay? Pueden aceptar now and we can practice, okay? Preguntar y responder preguntas. Okay? Vamos a preguntar y a responder, okay? So ask and answer, okay? So you can accept the invitation, guys, to the rooms, please. Maritza, if you can accept the invitation, please. What do you need in the morning? Okay. La, la primera que tengo es, what do you eat in the morning? Yes. What do you eat in the morning? Uh -huh. Bueno, I am way up and seven eight. Yes. And tell, tell me your daily routine. Oh, my routine, every day I... What do you do it for lunch? ¿Qué comes en la mañana en la cosa? Yes, sir. <laughs> sería en inglés que sería I am ips pupusas. Pero sí, pero sí, está diciendo. Hi, Luis. Um, we are working in groups right now. Let me assign you to one, okay? Uh, you can use, you know, the words, well, the photo that I send you, okay? In the WhatsApp group. So you can accept the invitation. Uh, estamos trabajando, Luis, en grupos. Uh, Puedes aceptar la invitación, ya te asigné a uno. Luis, eh, ¿me escuchas? 
Okay, perfect. Welcome, welcome everybody, welcome. So let's see, let's see, welcome. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest guys. So let's see, I hope you have practiced a lot. Espero que hayan practicado, because we are going to continue practicing. So let's see, we are going to wait for the rest guys. They are in the breakout rooms. So, okay, perfect, welcome. Welcome guys, welcome back. So guys, we have these questions, okay? So let's see. Okay guys, so now we are going to practice this one here. So I'm going to show some of you, so let's see. Um, this will be randomly, okay? So uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, okay? So let's see. Uh, do I have the participation of, let's see, Marvin Pineda. Marvin, can you read the first question for me, please? Puede leer la primera pregunta para mí. What do you, do you eat in the morning? Okay, perfect, Marvin. Tell me, what do you eat in the morning? Yes? Pupusas. Pupusas, perfect. So let me give you a tip, right? So you can say, I eat pupusas in the morning. Or I eat eat pupusas for breakfast okay so you have two options okay so repeat this one read this for me please marvin i eat pupusas in the morning perfect and this one i eat pupusas for breakfast perfect very nice marvin now, Marvin, it's your turn. Ask this question to someone else. Pregunta esta pregunta a alguno de tus compañeros here.
Yes, Marvin. El, ¿La leo o le digo quién la va a leer? Uh, sí, puedes leerla. Pregúntasela a alguien. Escoge a alguien aquí. Choose someone. Uh, a Edwin. Ok, What Edwin. What would you eat for lunch, Edwin? Ok, perfect. Edwin. Ok. Uh, I eat, sometimes I eat uh, chicken, salad, and rice for lunch. Perfect, very nice. So you heard Edwin, guys. Escucharon a Edwin. He says, sometimes I eat chicken, uh, salad, and rice, right? And rice for lunch. Very nice. I like it, Edwin. Now, Edwin, this one. You have this question, Edwin. Ask this question to someone else. Ask la pregunta a alguien más. Okay, uh, Ulysses, what do you eat for dinner? For dinner, okay. I usually eat... Pupusas for dinner. Perfect, very nice, Ulysses. I usually eat pupusas uh for dinner nice very nice now elise ask this question to someone else ask to a girl pregúntale a una chica a girl here esta pregunta okay para jennifer okay so read this question ask this question what do people usually eat in the salvador for breakfast Okay. Jennifer? Hello? Yes. So, Jennifer, answer this question. What do people usually eat in El Salvador for breakfast? And um, the people eat, the people usually eat um, the pupusas or egg, beans, and cheese, for example. Perfect. So people usually eat, right? Eat, in this case, let's see pizza, right? Pizza, chicken, okay? It can be whatever thing, right? In El Salvador. But they usually eat pupusas, right? Pupusas. So almost everybody eats pupusas. Casi todos comemos pupusas, chicos. So nice. So now, Jennifer, ask this question to someone else. Pregúntale esta pregunta a quien tú quieras. Tell me your daily routine, this one. Juan Carlos Rosales. Okay. Tell me your daily routine. Very nice, Juan Carlos. Okay. Um, get up. Uh, I am get up at 6 a.m. and take a shower. Um, before get a dress and um, breakfast. Um, Go to work usually uh, for the war uh, transportation and bus. Um, uh, sometimes I uh, am uh, or the coffee and 12 uh, p.m. Uh, lunch and uh, three. Piena World Coffee over. Okay. And, yes. <laughs> and six Piena Red to uh, my house. Um, get seven and three Piena dinner with my family. And, and I Piena 
take the class and every day over uh, routine. Okay, perfect. Very nice one. Very nice. I like it. So, guys, congrats. I can see that some of you, you know what this question means and you have vocabulary to answer the question. So that means, guys, that we are getting a high level of English. That very is very nice because, you know, we are getting what we have to do. Very nice, guys. Congrats to everyone. So perfect, guys. So now we are going to move, you know, because we have a grammar part, okay, grammar. So probably some of you have seen this, this one in the platform, right? Because in the platform, we have this one. So guys, let me explain you for the ones that haven't seen this one. We are going to talk, guys, about our adverse of frequency, okay? Adverse of frequency. And what are they? So this one that you see here, we have always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, okay? So guys, we have here, let's focus here, okay? So we have, I, use, I sometimes, or I always eat breakfast, okay? I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast, okay? So you see? In this case, guys, let's see. We have this example here. I always eat breakfast, okay? So let's see for the... Uh, let me explain you guys this one, okay? What is the rule? Well, what do we have to learn about this, right? So first of all, guys, let's see. We have subject, right? Subject can be uh, he, she, I, John, Pedro, right? Subject. We need a subject here. So let's see. Um, I, okay? A subject. Then we have to choose an adverb of frequency, okay? Let's see this one. I usually, um, always, often, let's see. I, let's see. Adverb of frequency. I always, then guys, we have to use a verb, okay? Un verbo. So you, you know many verbs, right? I run, I eat, I swim, I go. So I always, let's see, um, let's use it because we have already seen. I always eat. And then guys, you have a complement, okay? I always eat pits, okay? So that's how we use it, okay? That's how we use this one, adverse of frequency. And what they think, um, what is the meaning of this one? So adverse of frequency, guys, let me move on here, okay? So we have this one. Always is 100% sure that you do something, right? Always means siempre, right? Siempre, always. Usually, you know what is usually, right? It's lo mismo que in, in Spanish, usualmente. It's 90%, you see? This is a frequency, okay? La frecuencia de cuánto hacemos las cosas, right? Siempre, usualmente, veces, right? Always, usually, we have often. This one, guys, don't pronounce often, okay? The T is silent, okay? Pronounce this often, often, okay? Esta no la pronuncian often, okay, guys? Omitan la T, digan often. Often, okay, often. We have 70%. Now we have sometimes. Sometimes, you know what is sometimes, right? Sometimes is 50%. Occasionally, 30%. Seldom, 10%. This one, guys, are, you know, extra words that I'm giving to you, okay? Some extra words, let's take that, right? We have readily, 5%. And never, there is 0%. So here, guys, here, let me show you this, one, okay? So here we have, you see, we have always, there is 100%. Usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never, okay? Esta como una tabla de frecuencia, right? Del mayor al menor, you see? This one. So we have some examples here. So I always eat breakfast. You can also say sometimes I eat breakfast, okay? You can say I often eat breakfast, okay? So that's how we are going to use it, okay? Now we have, well, 
you have here this one, right? How to create a sentence. Como crear una sentence, right? Do you have any questions so far? Hasta ahorita tenemos alguna pregunta o duda? Yes, no? No? Okay, perfect. So, guys, now we have this one. This is a very important part, okay? So, it says, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Do you ever? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do, okay? It's like, this is a question. Let me here explain, okay? Here I have it, okay? How to create this question. So, in this one, guys, it's like a question. For example, if I ask you, the, if you do something usually or commonly, si haces las cosas, ¿cuál es la frecuencia con la que haces las cosas, right? Do you ever, okay? Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Do you ever have pupusas for breakfast, okay? Or do you take pupusas for breakfast, okay? Do you ever, como cuánto, como cuál es tu frecuencia, de cuánto lo haces, o cuánto tiempo lo haces, o si lo haces eh, seguido, right? So now, guys, we have here how to create this, the question. ¿Cómo hacer una pregunta, guys? So we have do or does, right? It depends about the subject. So let's see do, right? Do. Then we had within a subject. So for do, we can use um, I, you, they, you know, we can use those, right? So let's see what do. Let's choose a subject, you. And then we have to add ever, okay? Do you ever, okay? Then a bear. Do you ever, let's see, um, study, let's see, and a compliment. English, let's say. Do you ever study English? Okay. Do you ever study English? This is a question, guys, that we used to make uh, in order, you know, to ask if they uh, do this commonly, okay? So, guys, so far, do we have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta aquí? No? Perfect. So, guys, now let me move on, okay? So, here I have something for you, okay? I have a page that I want to show you. Let me see. Uh, let me open a new tab, okay? Uh, let's see. So, guys, I have here an exercise, so I need your help, okay, for this one. So, let's see. We have the arbors of frequency, okay? So, let's see this one. So, I'm going to ask you some questions, okay, guys? And... What I'm going to do is that I'm going, you know, to spin this roulette and you have to tell me a sentence using one of these, you know, adverbs, okay? So let's see, uh, do I have a volunteer for this exercise? Tengo un voluntario para este ejercicio? A volunteer? Someone who wants to participate tonight? No. A volunteer or a victim? Okay, Ulisse, Ulisse. Sure, you can participate. So let's see, okay? Let's see what do I have for you. So let me show you the song so you can see. Okay, so we have sometimes. Hey, Ulisse, give me a sentence using sometimes. Dime una oración utilizando sometimes. Sometimes I play video games with my friend because always I work every day. Okay, perfect. Very nice. You use always as well. Very nice, Alisa. Thank you. Now, do I have another okay. volunteer? Another one? Who else wants to participate? Volunteer or big team? Okay, so, oh, okay, I have someone, Jennifer. So perfect, Jennifer, let's see. Let me see what do I have for you. Okay, let's see. Usually, okay, Jennifer, give me a sentence using usually. 
I usually get, get up in, in the morning. Okay, perfect. Very nice, Jennifer. Very nice. Thank you for the participation. Now let's see. We have three rest. So Maritza, perfect Maritza. Yes, let's see what do we have for you. Okay. For you. So okay. always. So Maritza, give me a sentence using always. I always. I always drink coffee for. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you very much. Well, guys, due to the time, we cannot uh, continue with this exercise, but do not worry. We are going to continue practicing, okay? So let me share you the screen, guys. I have here some questions for you, okay? So let's see. I have this one. So guys, let me ask you this one, okay? How often Es como, ¿qué tanto, right? ¿Qué tanto o cuántas veces al día? How often do you do exercise? ¿Cuánto haces de ejercicio, right? O, o, ¿En cuánto haces ejercicio? It's like a question of frequency, right? How often do you eat in a restaurant? Eh, ¿Cada cuánto comes en un restaurante, right? ¿Cada cuánto? How often do you play video games? ¿Cada cuánto juegas videojuegos, okay? So, guys, we are going Hola. to practice. Yeah. So guys, we are... Una pregunta. Yeah. Yeah. También se Una puede pregunta. decir qué tan a menudo. Qué tan a menudo, ya, yeah. qué tan a menudo o qué tanto. Yeah. Qué tan a menudo. Right. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So guys, I'm going to send you this question to the WhatsApp group so you can practice, okay? I'm going to divide you guys in new groups, okay? So you can practice with your classmates, okay? Don't be afraid of your classmates, okay? So we are here to learn, okay? So you can accept it, guys, okay? So you can accept the invitation and let's go to practice, okay? Okay. George, if you can accept, please, Maritza, the invitation. Perfect, guys. Uh, George, if you can accept the invitation, please.
Okay, guys. Welcome, welcome. I hope you have practiced a lot. Espero que hayan practicado con sus compañeros, right? And uh, guys, do you have any question about this activity? Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del tema que hemos visto hasta ahorita? Yes, no. Or about the question or de las preguntas? Tienen alguna alguna duda o algo? Yes, no. Yeah. Any question? Okay, perfect. So it means you understood everything, right? So perfect, guys. Now let's move on, you know. So we have here, you know, we have a quiz, right? You, this one is the platform, right? We only have three, so it's really easy. So guys, let me give you this example, okay? So we have this one in the brackets, you see? We have some pair of words, right? So you say, I have breakfast on never weekends, right? So we have to fix, right? We have to look for the correct, you know, sentence. So in this one, that is disorder, we have to order. So we have, I never have breakfast on weekends. Now we have this one, work, I snack, I eat at hardly ever. Guys, according to the rule that we have seen, according De acuerdo a lo que hemos visto hasta ahorita, cómo crear una sentence con los um, frequency adverb. What is the answer here? ¿Cuál es la respuesta aquí, chicos? Please type in the chat box. En el chat box de Zoom, escriban cuál es la respuesta para esto, if you know it. Let's see who's going to be the first one to tell me what is the answer here, okay? So if we remember, guys, first of all, Cuando estamos haciendo una sentence, first is the subject, right? So the subject here is I. So I have I, okay? Then, what was the next, guys? ¿Qué iba después del subject? Iba. Okay. Iba el frequency adverb. In this case, hardly ever, right? Hardly ever. Then, iba el verb, right? The verb. I, okay, I have here, Edwin said, ever is now perfect. So yeah, yeah, that one, Edwin. So after the frequency, the the frequency, Albert, iba el verbo. El verbo, tenemos eat, okay? Eat, el complement, snacks, you know, ¿Qué comías? Snacks, right? Snacks. Sorry, snacks. At work. En el trabajo, right? At work. Perfect. Now let's see this one, guys. Veamos esta. What is the answer? Recordemos primero el subject, right? Subject, I. I. Then. Then, guys. Yes. Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I sometimes. I, uh, okay, perfect. Maritza, uh, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. Yeah, I sometimes eat pasta for dinner. That one. And now let's move on to the last one, guys. Let's see. The last one say, have my... I dinner with often family. What is the correct answer, guys? ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Yes, you can type the answer in the chat box, okay? So let's see. This one, guys. I often, okay. I often what, guys? I often, okay, let's see who gave me the answer. Maritza, I often have dinner with my family. So, perfect, with my family. So, perfect, guys. So, that, well, those were the answer for this exercise, okay? So, esos son los, bueno, las respuestas para ese ejercicio, right? So, guys, Next, well, 
Time is over, guys. Unfortunately, el tiempo ya se acabó. So, guys, thank you very much for being here. Gracias por estar aquí. Espero que hayamos aprendido al menos una palabra tonight. So, I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Nos vemos hasta mañana, okay? So, keep in practice. Continuamos practicando, okay? So, good night, guys. Good, good night. night. Bye. Take okay. care. Bye. 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 Bye.